Hello students, today we are going to discuss about hydrochloric acid which is coming under group 17 P block element of inorganic chemistry plus 2 chemistry. So let us start with a very good thought. You are the creator of your own destiny. Sometimes we just think of that it's not me, not in my destiny. If you think that you are the creator of your destiny, then only you can bring the change. Then only you can change the adverse situation into opportunities. Take note of it. So learning outcomes from this session is, you would be able to explain about the lab preparation of hydrochloric acid, acidic nature of hydrochloric acid, the reaction of hydrochloric acid with ammonia and carbonates and bicarbonates as well as sulphite and bisulphites. Along with that, we will discuss about the aqua and the reaction with noble metals and uses of hydrochloric acid. Let us start with some facts about hydrochloric acid. Glopper prepared hydrochloric acid in 1648 by heating common salt with concentrated sulfuric acid. This is the first and the foremost lab method of preparation of hydrogen chloride thereby we are converting into hydrochloric acid. By treating concentrated sulfuric acid on a solution of sodium chloride. Then after Davy in 1810 showed that it's compound of hydrogen chlorine. We know that this reaction hydrogen plus chlorine gives rise to 2SC in the presence of sunlight. That is diffuse sunlight and that reaction may be explode also therefore diffuse sunlight is used. So these are the reactions you can see on the screen NaCl plus H2SO4 concentrated temperature to less than 200 degrees Celsius or 420 Kelvin give rise to NaHS4 plus HCl. If you are going to increase the temperature, what is going to happen is Na2SO4 is formed. That is actually sticky substance and it will lead to overheating of the glass vessel and it may break also. So therefore it is advisable to keep maintain the temperature of 420 Kelvin and not to exceed that. Moreover to produce hydrochloric acid, we need to dissolve this gas in water. HCl gas when dissolved in water give rise to hydrochloric acid or ions like hydronium ion and chloride ions. Thereby solution gives the dissociation value Ka is equal to 10 plus 7. Okay. So this way, so this is the now lab method of preparation of hydrogen chloride. First gas will be produced when, in com when it comes in contact with water it form hydrochloric acid. So sodium chloride we have taken the solution and we are adding concentrated sulfuric acid drop wise and then the gas formed will be dissolved, will be passed through concentrated sulfuric acid to dry it. It means concentrated sulfuric acid used as drying agent and then dry HCl gas is formed and that is collected by upward displacement of air because hydrogen chloride is heavier than air so it will be collected and air and air will be displaced. Now the reactions you know already. So concentrated sulfuric acid we are using here. So now the next part here is the acidic nature. Hydrochloric acid is having acidic nature. How we can explain? You know that any carbonate salt when treated with acid give rise to water and carbon dioxide and the salt. Similarly, bicarbonate also when we treat with acid give rise to water, carbon dioxide and salt. Similarly, if you are taking the sulphide Na2SO3, then it will give water, salt and SO2. So this shows the acidic nature of hydrochloric acid. We will go more detail into these reactions. Let us see the decomposition. Previously as we discussed that any carbonate or bicarbonate when treated with acid give rise to metal salt, water and carbon dioxide. The same reaction is written here. NaHCO3 plus HCl give rise to NaCl water and carbon dioxide. Similarly, if we are taking sulphite or bisulphite, here I have taken bisulphite, potassium bisulphite when treated with HCl give rise to KCl water and SO2. Similarly, if we are taking sulphide SIDE and then we will be getting H2S as the gas which is rotten tank gas. Sulphur dioxide is suffocating colorless and carbon dioxide is colorless with the effervescence waterless. Now some reactions we are going to discuss about the further which explain the acidic property like metal plus acid give rise to metal salt and hydrogen. This reaction we are 
doing for from long time from 7th onwards mg plus 2 hcl give rise to mg cl2 plus hydrogen you can use zinc also neutralization that we know acid plus base give rise to salt and water so here ammonia is in a case hcl it's formed salt is formed and if you are taking ammonium hydroxide then ammonium chloride plus water also will be there similarly neutralization if you take any metal oxide metal oxides are basic in nature zinc oxide plus hcl give rise to zinc chloride and water so this general reaction you should relate these reactions are very easy but general reaction you need to keep in mind so next are the reactions of dilute hcl some precipitation reactions are there let us see lead nitrate lead nitrate is soluble in water plus hcl give rise to pvcl to pvcl will give white precipitate which is soluble in hot water and insoluble in cold water similarly if you are taking any nitrate salt agno3 hcl give rise to agcl white precipitate plus hno3 so this way this is also one of the testing methodologies also to check the presence of uh, nitrate or chlorides and agcl although it is a precipitate in cold water and but when you pass this precipitate in excess of ammonium hydroxide due to formation of complex diamine silver chloride this form a soluble complex it will dissolve agcl will dissolve when you when you add excess of ammonium hydroxide please do remember this thing now reaction of hcl with ammonia give rise to dense white fumes you can see the here picture here so ammonia and hcl when when is brought into contact so dense white fume is formed we are applying the pressure to displace gas so now this is one of the more uh, most important property of uh, hydrochloric acid and that is uh, is used in the aqua regia formation so three moles of concentrated hcl and one mole of concentrated nitric acid when dissolved it gives us nascent chlorine nitrosyl chloride plus water and nascent chlorine nascent chlorine will react with gold and platinum to form aucl3 and ptcl4 how it is further detailed way reactions are there we are going to discuss now and this is basically used for dissolving noble metals like gold platinum now you can see from here au AU is what? Gold. Gold, this is the components of aqua regia and it is oxidizing AU to AUCl4 negative. It means it is having plus 3 oxidation state and here also PT to 0 to here also 4 oxidation state PTCl4 and further PTCl4 further react with HCl to give PTCl6 to negative. We will see in the next slide. Let us see here. So this reaction we are clear that aqua give rise to nitrosyl chloride, water and nascent chlorine and you know that gold is having 3 valency AuCl3 is formed. This AuCl3 react again with HCl to form AuCl4 and this is known as chlorooric acid and when you combine all these partial equations you will get finally that silver uh, gold, gold will give rise to HAuCl4 and nitrosyl chloride and water. So this is formation of chlorooric acid from gold by using aqua This is soluble complex. Similarly, platinum when treated with nitric acid and HCl, that is the composition of uh, aqua it's we are getting here chloroplatinic acid. Fine. So here also you come to know that PTCl4 react with HCl to form H2PTCl6. So these are the reactions of uh, gold and platinum with aqua Now next the uses of hydrochloric acid it is used in the manufacturing of chlorine, dyes, paints, drugs, silver chloride, ammonium chloride and glucose from starch so, and extraction of glue from bones like gelatin we are saying and purifying bone black aqua formation. These are the uses of hydrochloric acid. Apart from that tanning of leather, soldering, picking agent, medicine and as a laboratory agent also we are using hydrochloric acid. So let us revise what we have done so far. So we can prepare hydrogen chloride gas from sodium chloride and concentrated sulfuric acid and subsequent dissolving in water. Second is acidic nature of HCl we explained by hydrogen displacement from acid by metal like zinc HCl, decomposition of carbonate the like carbonate NaHCO3 plus HCl or Na2CO3 plus HCl sulfide Na2SO3 plus HCl or NaXSO3 plus HCl and sulfide like zinc sulfide plus HCl. So these are giving us the corresponding acids like carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and H2S. Then it is treated with hydrochloric acid. 
Next is uh, reaction of hydro hydrochloric acid with ammonia gives rise to densified fumes. And aqua regia is a combination of three volume of concentrated HCl with one volume of concentrated nitric acid can dissolve noble metal like gold platinum to form chloroboric acid and chloroplatinic acid. Uses of hydro hydrochloric acid includes some fraction of chlorine, paints, drugs, silver chloride, ammonium chloride, and extraction of blue compounds, aqua region, tanning of leather, soldering, pickling agent, medicine as well, and as a laboratory reagent. So let us discuss some of the questions. When hydrogen chloride reacts with finely powdered iron, it forms ferrous chloride, not ferric, right? Now you see this reaction, this is a property of uh, acid, displacement of uh, metal displaces hydrogen from acid. So here hydrogen is produced. Hydrogen provides the reducing atmosphere. And how you can expect that the ferrous chloride will change to ferric? 2 plus changes to 3 plus. How it is possible in reducing atmosphere? So oxidation not possible in reducing atmosphere, that's why. Name the drying agent used to dry HCl gas. So we know that if you see the diagram, this gas was passed through concentrated sulfuric acid. So answer is concentrated sulfuric acid. Why it is used? Because it does not react with HCl. Now the second question was why calcium oxide or phosphorus pentoxide are not used as drying agent? Because it can react with HCl. Calcium oxide on reaction with HCl gives rise to calcium chloride. P2O5 on reaction can give phosphorus oxychloride. So that's why we are not using calcium oxide and phosphorus oxide. Write the three reactions where hydrochloric acid treated with oxidizing agent. You know that MnO2, PB3O4, KMnO4. This we are done in preparation of chlorine also. So these are very good oxidizing agent. When reacted with HCl concentrated, give rise to MnCl2, MnCl2 plus water plus chlorine, PB3O4. That is also known as red lead, Sindhur. PVCl2 plus water and chlorine, KMnO4, give rise to KCl, MnCl2, water and chlorine. Means to say that. All these MnO2, PV3O4, KMnO4 are known as oxidizing agent which oxidize HCl2 chlorine. Okay, so here also you can understand that chlorine is having minus 1 oxidation state and here is 0. Minus 1 to 0 is oxidation. Who is doing? So here plus 4 is changing to plus 2. So reduction. Reduction means it is acting as oxidizing agent. Similarly here also, here it is uh, 8 and uh, 4 minus 2 8 and here it will be 8 by 3 and here it is so 8 by 3 changes to 2 reduction acting as oxidizing agent similarly here also it is 7 here 7 changes to 4 sorry 7 changes to 2 reduction and it's acting as oxidizing agent so you should be very clear with this concept of oxidation reduction oxidizing agent and reducing agent. that congratulations to you for i am sure that you are knowing these answers so let us repeat the thought you are the creator of your own destiny thank you